I'm Marshall Jones. Today I'm announcing my candidacy for the United States Congress, 4th District of Louisiana. I'm not a politician, I'm a man of faith. The father of three, the grandfather of seven, and I'm married to the love of my life, the smart and beautiful Cindy Jones. It's because of them and all of our families that I make this decision to offer myself for public service. Like you, I want a better future for my family and my children. Like you, I want my family and children to be safe and secure. The deep sense of anger of the U.S. electorate, whether Republican, Democrat, or Independent, is a direct result of Americans fearful about their futures and concerned about the direction of our country. We all know Washington is broken. Like you, I know it's time for a change. This campaign really started for me when my 19-year-old daughter, Catherine, an outstanding college student in Dallas, told me, Dad, it makes me sad that perhaps I can't come home because there may not be real job opportunities for me there. That was a blow to my heart. I love this place and I want my children and your children to have the option to return and make a good life here. Catherine reminded me that in order for there to be change, someone who can actually bring about change has to get in the arena and run for Congress. There's a verse in the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, that I've been thinking about a lot lately. It goes, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send? Who will go for us? And as Isaiah replied, Here I am, send me. Today I respectfully tell you, Here I am, send me. I am ready and willing for you to send me to Washington, D.C. to serve you, fight for you, and stand for you. I've been to Washington, D.C. on many occasions. Most of what you hear about D.C. is correct. D.C. stands for dysfunctional city. Washington politicians spend so much time fighting each other, they don't have time to do their jobs. Many are concerned about serving their political party more than serving us. I want to do it differently. It was President Kennedy who eloquently stated in 1960, let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past, but let us accept our own responsibility for the future. I too will be seeking the right answer, the best ideas for our futures. I will work with anyone from either party who has a good idea that could benefit you and your families. I don't see a problem working across the party aisle. I see that middle aisle on the House floor as just a way to get to my seat, and I will gladly cross it often. For me, it isn't about moving to the left or moving to the right. It's about moving forward, getting things done, making a difference, helping working families in any small way I can. Because it's not about the left or the right, it's about right and wrong. Yet compromise has become an ugly word. The far left and the far right continue the same partisan politics at the expense of the American people. But I'm convinced the great majority of us are somewhere in the middle. I'm so convinced that today I'm laying claim to and staking my flag in the big center of the political divide, in the common ground, in an effort to deal with our broken political system and serve you. Why? I truly believe that we all have more in common than not. Faith in our Creator doesn't have a political party. Love of our great country doesn't have a political party. Love for our family and children doesn't have a political party. Unemployment doesn't have a political party. Neither does financial strife. I will be a strong, independent voice for North and West Louisiana and for your families, as they'll be my main concern. You are the reason I will be elected to Congress, and you are the only reason I want to go there. And I promise you that if you give me that chance, I'll set an example that will make you proud. Our first priority must be job creation and economic development. Jobs, jobs, and more jobs. We need to get our region back to work. Like every father and grandfather, I want a better future for North and West Louisiana. We've watched as the plants have closed, the rigs have been stacked, and the jobs have left. We need someone in Washington who will make sure that economic development and jobs are at the top of the agenda, not just part of some partisan game. Many candidates talk about change, but deliver no results. I can actually make a difference. 
I have the business experience to bring jobs back. For over 40 years, I've worked as a businessman, a business lawyer, an oil and gas operator, and a farmer to actually create jobs. This has been my job for decades. I create and implement business plans for new businesses. I've worked with new businesses and economic development groups whose sole goal is to create new jobs in our part of the state. For four decades, I've worked in the energy, healthcare, construction, and banking industries to further the business and economic development of our region. I have degrees in accounting and law, as well as the experience that matters. And experience really does matter. From day one, I'll be ready to go to work for you. And from day one, I'll be ready to promote and protect Barksdale in Bossier City, Fort Polk in Leesville, our thriving healthcare industry, our tremendous tourism and gaming industries. In the last 18 months, our state has lost 18,000 jobs related to the oil and gas industry. With my decades of experience in the oil and gas industry and energy law, from day one, I'll be ready to go to work to help bring the oil and gas industry back to our region. Jobs are part of making our future secure. Like you, I also want my family to be safe and secure from international threats and those that are closer to home. We need a strong military to keep our country safe, and I will support any military effort necessary to stand up to terrorism, whether foreign or domestic. Keeping our families safe, protecting our country and our communities, as well as our families, is a fundamental responsibility of government and one that I take seriously. The safety of our country will always be tied to the welfare of those who fight for us. Not only will I always support our district's military bases and military operations, I will always stand with and fight for our veterans. This is a personal issue to me. My own grandfather, Marshal Carl Jones, who helped raise me, was a decorated Army combat veteran who proudly served our nation in France during World War I. He received a Purple Heart with Oak Leaf Cluster and other combat citations. My beloved father, James Marshall Jones, was an Army veteran who proudly served our nation in Germany during World War II. Our brave veterans have served our nation with honor, and we owe them nothing less than the best when they return home from service. This includes access to timely and high-quality health care and good-paying jobs. We must also ensure our safety here at home. Our country has been rocked recently by devastating assaults on police officers. These were attacks on all of us at a time we need unity. For decades, my family and I have supported those in law enforcement. This will not change. And I'm proud to tell you that law enforcement stands with me. As numerous district attorneys and sheriffs of many parishes in our region have already endorsed my candidacy. As we work for a better tomorrow, we must also protect those who have gone before us. For generations, Medicare and Social Security have been our nation's solemn promises to our seniors. Work hard, play by the rules, and we will make sure you get the health care and retirement security you earned when you need it most. I will not be walking back on these promises. Prosperity begins with responsibility. Our nation's debt and deficit issues must be addressed so we don't leave future generations to foot our bills. I am committed to finding common sense solutions that bridge party lines to help get our fiscal house in order in a balanced way. In the political debates about our economy, the haves seem to be fighting the have-nots. But it's not about the haves and have-nots, it's about the have-tos. It's about the laid-off DeSoto Parish oil field worker who now has to work a thousand miles from his home. It's about the single mother who has to get up early to get her children on the bus before she races to her minimum wage job. It's about our veterans who have to wait weeks just to get a needed medical appointment at the VA hospital. It's about the senior citizen who has to sometimes cut her pills in half and still can't afford them. It's about the public school teacher who has to spend her own money to make sure her students have needed school supplies. These are people who have to make tough decisions but are no longer heard in Washington. I make a commitment to you that I will stand and fight for our region's oil and gas industry. I'll fight for both small and large businesses, working men and women, veterans, young people. 
our public school teachers, and healthcare workers. I also make a commitment to you that my decisions on any public policies, my vote on any issue, will be solely based upon what's in the best interest of the people of the 4th Congressional District without regard to the wishes of any political party. I was born and raised in North Louisiana. My family has been right here in Caddo Parish for many generations. I'm a product of the Caddo Parish public school system, which prepared me well for college, law school, and for life. I live in Shreveport and I wouldn't have it any other way. I hunt and fish throughout Northwest Louisiana. I'd rather be on Caddo Lake, Toledo Bend, or Red River than any other place. I love my part of Louisiana. I care for all the people who live here. Once elected, I will go to Congress to serve all of you. And I will come home from Washington every weekend and sit and listen to what you want me to do for you and your families when I fly back to Washington on Monday. Like many of you, I'm pro-military, pro-life, pro-Second Amendment, and pro-Louisiana. Not everyone understands what a great quality of life we have here, how special our place is, but we do. In closing, I respectfully tell you that it would be my honor to serve you. Together, we can demand the changes we need. Together, we can also use our common faith and our common beliefs to help bring better understanding and peace during this time of chaos, mistrust, and fear. Together, we can do better, and we will. I ask that you give me your support, your voice, your prayers, and your vote. God bless you and your families. God bless Louisiana. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you.